to the camera. Right here, there are my little camera. Now what I did, I did, I did a bit of rewiring before I started filming again, because as I said, that phone call interrupted me, and, it, and I just lost the flow after that. It all went a bit pear-shaped. So what I've done down here is I've wired up the keyboard, which obviously was working just then to trigger the, the sample of the congas inside the RMF drum machine. But I've also wired in this typical drum box. Yeah, It's a, an Alesis SR16, and it's actually incredibly dusty, because it's been in a box for ages. Eww, nasty. Look, look at that dust, man. Okay, um, but it's a typical drum box with, you know, you can change the MIDI note numbers for the pads, uh, for the sounds in it. But basically, without using a mixer, this is how you can bring external MIDI kit into your setup and, and mix external MIDI kit drum sounds in with your onboard software drum sounds, right? Okay, so, let's see how it's wired up. Master keyboard goes out of the master keyboard, the MIDI lead, and goes in here to the computer. Okay. Then the MIDI out from the computer is going up this cable into the SR16 here, Okay, from the output port. Then I've got two audio outs on the SR16 here, which are wired directly in to the inputs on the sound card. Now your sound card must have fast, low latency ASIO drivers and you should set the latency as low as you can without getting pops and cracks and things, yeah? And basically, if, um, right, so, what should happen is this, let me put the camera back on the stand, point it down at the SR16. Now I'm going to go back to the software now. Okay, so back at the software. How, how are we going to get those sounds coming into our mix without a mixer? Well, quite simply, we've routed the output from the drum box directly into our ASIO sound card left-right input. I've created a audio track, okay, which I'll, I'll remove it actually and do that again. Uh, where are we? Where's the delete track? Not dis oh, remove track. Okay, so you just click on any of these two tracks that exist already and just do add audio track. Okay, make, I'll make it stereo. There it is, and it's set to stereo in and stereo out. Take the record enable off and put the monitor speaker icon on. Now if I go over to the SR16 and tap the keys for the congas, which I've set up already to go to the output on the SR16 that's feeding into the sound card, and this is what happens. Yeah? The congas you can see here are coming in, and if I open the mixer, yeah, Here's my stereo in channel. I'll hit the congress again on the SR16. And there they are, you can see them here. So they're being fed into the mix. Now if the latency on your sound card, if it's got fast ASIO or WDM drivers, and they're set up with a nice low latency, there'll be just a few milliseconds of delay from you hitting the pads on the Alesis and the sound coming in to the sound card and blending with the onboard sound. Now if I hit play, there's my onboard sound playing, and I'm going to play along with it using the keys on the, the pads on the SR16. There we go. Let's just see if that's visible on the screen. Yes, it is. There we go. Okay. So, do you get the, get the idea? If I now go into my drum map, right, and take these three congas, which at the moment are triggering the RMF, which was the default, yeah. Yeah, there they are, look. Right, let's assign the output row for these three congas to the Julia MIDI, that's the sound card's MIDI, yeah. And now, any notes we put in the drum map for these three rows are being routed out of the MIDI output, and that MIDI is being fed into the SR16. We've assigned um, what's the next thing we have to do? Uh, assign the note numbers to match the out notes to match the SR16. So we go to the SR16. And probably I'll find the microphone stand is exactly in the way of where I want to film. Yes it is, so take the camera out of the cradle. Over to our SR16. I'll take off the lamp. 
Well, actually, is that a good idea? Let's see what we've got. You can just see that. Note. I've already got it set into like a site where you can see the note for the pad. So, the first conga is E3. Second conga is F3. Third conga is G3. Right. Camera back on the stand. Oh yes, they can put a man on the moon, but not a camera clamp that easily fits. Right, so, E3, F3, G3. Okay, so I set my out note for the congas here to E3, F3, and G3. Okay, now. Okay, so this row is the conga slap, so I'll call it the slap. This is the low conga. Low. And this is conga high. And now, can you see what's happened? I mean, this is just, this is just so brilliant. And it just, just shows you two things at once, actually, that how to use external MIDI kit with internal sounds and how to route that SR16 into your MIDI keyboard. Now, let's let it run and I'll put in a basic pattern. Let's just uh, make sure that your channel here, by the way, uh, matches your drum machine as well as the out note setting uh, to trigger the pads that you want. Just drag this over so we've got more screen space for the grid and let's hit play. And there's the high conga. Low Congress here. Oh. to that. So I'll just go back to the camera. What's happening is these notes here are feeding out of the drum map. Okay, the kick drum is playing the RMF up here, right? The snare is playing the RMF software. The clap is playing the Steinberg LM7 clap. We've got this loop if we want it playing the wave sampler. Just bring that back in. because of the screen grab what the and I'll make that longer I'll make it three beats longer by typing that to three happening is these conga notes are playing out via the output the Julia MIDI on these three note numbers E3 F3 and G3 which are the three notes in the SR16 for the three congas yeah and they're going out of the Julia MIDI that's the MIDI port going to go to the camera now and those MIDI notes are coming from the drum map, up the MIDI cable, here, up the MIDI cable, into the SR16, triggering those three pads. The sound is coming out of the audio out, left, right, down, back into the sound card. Um, and when I hit play over here, oh, hello, hit play, please. Yeah. Play. Yeah. What the time you if I close the this down and go to my mixer, yeah. There's the monologue playing the sub bass kick. There's the RM um, drum machine playing the other drum sounds. 
and uh, there's the sounds there coming in uh, from the from the SR16 over there. Yeah. 